Hey everybody, it's day 358 of Training Daily Excellence. My name is Greg Giski. Today I'm here with... Coach David Soma from Manata Slums. And today we're talking about the key qualities of a soccer player. In our coaching education course today, we talked about evaluating players and how different positions need different things for players to be successful. For instance, if we have a striker, we want that striker to be strong. We want that striker to be fast. They need to be able to strike the ball well. Whereas if we have a central defender, they still have to be strong. Preferably, they would be fast or quick, but they don't really have to be as fast as they are quick. They should get into tackles really well, and their striking ability is going to be different. They should be able to play some long diagonal balls, but maybe not so much on striking onto goal. That would just be a special quality if he had a central defender that happened to be good at that as well. So today, when we talk about the key qualities of a player, we, we want to point out those things because that is our evaluation system. That's how we can rank players that we're trying to identify for talent. We do the same thing in the Olympic Development Program. And so that's why I wanted to introduce this to the Kenyan soccer community. So yeah. now we have a way of comparing two players on a scale. And so you can give them a number and that number will end up being uh, any number four through 20 based on the scores you're giving them in each category. So the first category of these is game understanding and decision making. So what what do you understand game understanding and decision making making to be? Oh it's very simple because this is a very wonderful course. What I want to say, what I understand by the term understanding a game understanding and decision making is just that the player have to be knowledgeable about the game. The players to be a person who understands how is needed to move in the field and how he should carry out the duties within the field. And as well, decision making is like, for example, the player has the ball, I want to make a decision of either shooting or passing at least. You have to be a player who really, really thinks very, very fast so that you can at least uh, help the team. And uh, generally putting all this together, you will be that player who really have uh, the idea about the football. And now you'll be game understanding and decision making on your side will be so, so okay. Absolutely. Thank and that's, you. That's what we've been talking about in, in class. We, we said that knowledge is one thing and then the actual implementation of the knowledge is in the, ne the next thing and so yeah. game understanding yeah. uh, really has an action oriented piece to it as well so and, that, and that's going to be decision making because game understanding is the knowledge decision making is then implementing the knowledge yeah. to do side to do something uh, with the decision that's before you so do side something that coach Paul Wright uh, uses and it's it's a cool term because if you decide to do something, you still haven't taken an action, right? It's still in your own mind. But if you do decide, you've taken an action toward toward basically embodying or making that decision come into life. So the second one here is initiative. Okay, so it takes initiative in order to do anything out on the pitch. Okay, zero initiative means that you're you're doing nothing. Initiative is action oriented. And so the player is putting themselves in situations to be a hero. The player is courageously going into a tackle. The player is courageously running off the ball to get into a new space. And so initiative is going to be another key quality. Was sure, sure. Initiative, like uh, maybe you have a team and uh, you have different players. There is a player who is like, to you, it is, is more initiative in the field. We can do some of the things you can remember player with and uh, it can create lots of uh, positive results to happen. It can also like push the team forward. So it is a player with initiative to the team. He is like bringing nearly everyone together towards a certain goal. So he's a key figure in the field as well, yeah. Absolutely. Which brings us to our next one. Op optimal, technical, and physical abilities. When you come to Kenya, yeah. when all of you come and visit, you'll see that many of the players have optimal technical and physical abilities. They have a high score there. So the next, the next idea is how do we round out the other pieces? Uh, primarily game understanding and decision making when the resources aren't there. And so that's where all of you come into this equation because we have access to these pieces in the United States. And we're, we're now taking the steps to connect 
the Kenyans to the same wealth of information. And so what you're going to find is there's going to be some really, really well-rounded Kenyan soccer stars in the next decade. That's, that's a for, for certain thing because game understanding and decision making is, is the limiting factor right now. The initiatives there, the optimal technical and physical abilities, the focus that we're going to talk about. We've been, we, we run our classes for what, yeah. how, however many hours a day, and every coach remains engaged for the full session, every session. So we've been running, we've been running the morning session, we take a break, they yeah. come back, we run they another run session. Lunch, they take a they, lunch break. Lunch break. They get back, we do, we do a recap of what we did initially and the people throw the questions in, then thereafter, we get to the field for practical, so I'm gonna tell you guys here, it's a lot of passion, so we need everyone to come on board for this, sure. Absolutely. Yeah. And we even gave homework over the lunch break. Yeah, we yeah. gave homework and we collect the assignments and everyone is doing great. Like you see, they're committed. They really know what they want in soccer and the coaches are doing great. They are so much passionate and they want to be like the big coaches they watch on a television. So surely they're totally determined what they want to do and they're focused. So. That's why we feel that we have the best class in Kenya. I've attended a number of classes, but this one is the best in Kenya. So, guys, you need to follow this and watch how everything is going. It's serious down here in Manyata slums, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's, I, I think, focus for me, the definition kind of is embodied in the quote, sacrifice what you will have tomorrow for what you want today. Okay, so instead of and and acting upon the things that you want today yeah have the focus have the mindset have the initiative see the thing that you will need and then anything that's a distraction from that anything that's a want that takes you away from that need you, you have to put to the side like in kenya we always say yeah. that you need to see beyond the corner yeah. If you see beyond the corner, it's just that simple. It simply means that we don't think about today, but we think about the day behind the, the other days coming, the future. And that's what we are trying to come up with there. We try to blend it together, to bring everyone onto this so that at least we can make a change. And for sure, soccer is a tool for the and general development. We do education through soccer. We do nearly everything through soccer. So guys... These are very, very serious and standard course, I have to assure you guys. Absolutely. Yeah, and, yeah, and it, ties, it ties me back to the Bible. I think of stay awake, be ready. The yeah. Lord is coming soon. Like, yeah, focus sure. is that. So Christianity, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> stay, yeah. <laughs> so, so stay awake. If you're, if you're a player out there, yeah. you need to stay awake. Yeah. Because when you least expect it, your opportunity is going to come. Yeah. So you have to stay awake for that. Stay awake because whenever time you will close your eyes this way, then the opportunity will be passing, guys. Yeah. So stay awake. Absolutely. See whatever action taking place because maybe your blessing is in between there. Yeah. Love it. So the last one here, the fifth key quality is that we have responsibility. Sure. Okay. So responsibility, I, I like to think of as a sacrifice for other people. So you're taking on something in order for the greater good. So um, for all of you players out there, responsibility comes in many forms, but without responsibility, you have no capacity. So make sure that responsibility does not scare you out of doing something great. For instance, the greatest strikers will have to go 1v1 with the goalkeeper at times. Everybody's watching, right? So if you miss it, it is seen as a huge blunder. But if you make it, you're seen as a hero. And so you have to take on that responsibility as a player. You cannot get out of position in order to avoid a good situation. You have to stay in the position. Oh, shoot. Oh, man.